This video is going to show you how to add a like box to your website. All right, now what is a like box and why would you want to add it to your website? Um, first of all, let's go take a look at one. I'm just going to go to a website, the nonprofit Facebook guy, and on the lower right hand corner of the website, you'll see that there's this tiny little box in the sidebar. Uh, basically, the way that you can think of this is it's a a small interactive version of a Facebook page. If you look closely, there's a button here. It says like. Um, so I've already liked this page. If I wasn't a fan, it would look like this. You know, so I go to this website. I see this this like box. I can like it directly from the like box. I do not need to leave the website and go to Facebook in order to like the page. That's really important. Uh, the second thing is that you'll notice that there are six faces. These are actually uh, people, faces of my friends. And a visitor comes and they see that like box, they're going to see their friends automatically. Uh, the third reason why you want to add a like box to your website is that you can easily measure it in Facebook Insights, which is the analytics module included in your Facebook page. And it will tell you this many people liked your page in this month as a result of a like box. Okay, so let me show you how to add this to your website now. Okay, and I'll go to my Facebook page. Go to your Facebook page. You open up your admin panel. Under edit page, just click on manage permissions. You're going to see an area called resources. Okay, so click on resources. And then under resources, you will see use social plugins. So the like box is a social plugin. We're going to click on use social plugins and we'll be redirected to a list of social plugins for websites. What we're going to look for is we're going to look for the like box, which is right down here. We're going to click on like box. We're going to go to a new page that gives us instructions on how to configure the like box for our website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually um, enter the URL for the Facebook page that we want to create a like box for. All right. As soon as you start entering information, by the way, in this form, this configuration form on the left, you'll see a preview on the right. Okay. You set up your width. Uh, you obviously want to work with a web designer, you know, your web person to take care of this. Pick the width, height, color scheme. I would pick light. The only two choices are light and dark. Dark is a little funny unless you have a website with a black background, it would work. But otherwise, pick light. Uh, show faces, you definitely want to show the faces. Stream is not important for a like box unless you, the purpose of the like box is to show the latest activity. If the purpose of the like box is to convert people to like your page, then you want to hide the stream and instead show faces. Okay? Obviously, you can show both. but you have limited room on your website. Don't show the stream. It takes up too much space. Hide that. Don't show the header either. You know, find us on Facebook. Most people at this point, they can figure out that this is Facebook related. So I'm going to deselect show header. You know, again, we're making the best use of our space here. And now we might want to even adjust the height a little bit. So I'll just say 280. And we have our, let's see, 290. All right. So we have it configured like we want it. All right. The final thing we want to do is we want to copy and paste the code to put into our website. So at the very bottom, we see get code. We click on this. We have a few different options, HTML5, XFBML, iframe, URL. We want to pick iframe for the most part. That's the easiest approach. You simply copy the code and then I always recommend putting it into a text edit document going to your web developer or whoever's dealing with your website and work with them to get this code embedded into your website. It's a simple iframe that will actually display the like box in your website once you place this code into your website. It's pretty straightforward. Any web designer, web developer will know how to use this. All right, so that is putting a like box into your website.